we're going to be talking about tonight the influences that Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion have on younger women. Okay, first we're going to get right into it. I'm going to bring up a gif of what we're actually seeing is this video is what we're going to be discussing today that seems to be trending all over the world. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have already seen the video, all right? And it's over-sexualizing women to the point where this goes a little bit deeper than normal, all right? But you want to know here we go. How Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion brainwash younger women. Now, before I get started, I just want to say this, when it comes to women doing this, psychologically, it's in woman's nature to do it. One, it gives her a sense of security because she's getting paid to do it, all right? Secondly, it makes a woman feel sexy. When women get paid to do things like this, it makes them feel sexy to watch a man lust over them. You come across a woman that does not have a man that lusts over her, she feels low and she, and she feels like out of place, like she doesn't exist. This is why you have a lot of girls that get into porn. And the reason why they get into porn is because they feel worthless and having a lot of guys that want to have sex with them actually makes them feel pretty. So when it comes to these entertainers, they do it because they're getting paid a sense of security to do it. And they're also feeling pretty while they do it. So understand that part. And that's what this lecture tonight is going to be about. All right. First, before we can start talking about Cardi B and start talking about Meg Thee Stallion, you must understand that the thoughtiness goes all the way back to the Little Kim. All right. Anybody that grew up in the 90s, will tell you that Little Kim was pretty much the first thought of the scene. She was the first woman that was actually out here doing it. She was like the Marilyn Monroe when it came to hip hop. You know what I mean? So when it came to that thought, and she was getting away with a lot of stuff, but at that time, it was like only her and Foxy Brown. She didn't have a big influence on women, not that much. Because there wasn't that many girls out there doing that. And plus, in the early 90s when we were coming up, women still had a little bit of morality because you still had the smart women telling you about the dumb women. Remember those days when all the smart girls used to be like, hey, watch out for that girl. I heard she likes to hang out with the guys. Or I heard she likes to do all this. So you were battling that in the early 90s. So when Lil' Kim came to the scene, she couldn't quite take fire. She was popular, but she didn't take fire, which means that a lot of white women wasn't following her. So the agenda didn't get pushed all the way because of her. Because of Lauren Hill. This is how come she couldn't get anywhere. Because when Little Kim came out being thotting, then Lauren Hill came in after her and just shut everything down you know what i mean when lauren hill hit the scene she pretty much took over the rap scene because she was respected by men and respected by women for being real and being honest she had honest situations she was a respectable woman so the little kim era came in for a little bit but then it fell off as well because Lauren Hill came in and took the face of female hip hop for many years. So the influences of the thoughtiness had a, a setback for a little bit. You know what I mean? Because Lauren Hill sold way more records than Little Kim for a longer period of time. So Little Kim couldn't quite shake up the culture like she used to because of Lauren Hill. And anybody that was growing up in the 90s will know that Lauren Hill was one of those girls that was very popular amongst women. All right, let's go to the next. One thing that you have to understand about 
black entertainers is that black entertainers are leaders to the black community, especially black women. All right, that's what I want a lot of people to understand. In the black community, black women look at entertainers for inspiration. They look at entertainers as their role models. So it has a bigger impact because there's not many other role models out there, which is why like majority of, uh, of women that have businesses own like salons that goes into looking goods. Not many have like real estate companies and other things like that. They have things that work with women, right? Because they're trying to look like their superstar. So this is what's caused everything and it causes everyone to make money off of the women because they're promoting false image for future victims. All right. What I mean by they're creating false image for future victims, that means that they're creating an image for these women to destroy themselves to reach. But when things don't go they right, don't go the way they want to off of what they was promised, then they turn around and victimize themselves. All right. When it comes to black entertainers, especially music now, they glorify prostitution. All right. You have to understand this. Women are taught, as long as you're making money, it's okay. You're independent because you don't need a man. You feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of like in a woman's world, she could do whatever she wants by any means necessary to make money, right? And it's okay with other women to do that. But in a man's world, it's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not going to glorify drug dealers like that. Only a small percentage of men are going to actually glorify drug dealers, are going to actually glorify criminals. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be honest. Not too many grown men are going to glorify a criminal. But when it comes to a woman, a grown woman will glorify Cardi B. She'll glorify Meg Thee Stallion. And she'll envy her. Because she ain't looking at what she's doing to get the money. She's looking at the results. She's making money, right? And she feels pretty because she has guys lusting over her. Remember I told you, women do slutty things to feel sexy because they feel ugly. So the more guys she has drooling over her, the more sexier she feels as long as she's making the money doing that she never has a reason to respect a man, all right? Next, they promote LGBT in their communities. I mean, in their videos, right? Even Nicki Minaj, even, even um, Cardi B, all of them. They promote the LGB. They'll kiss another girl. They'll do videos with other girls. They promote unification of women. They, they promote the lesbianhood. And the rest of the world follow, even specifically in the black community, all right? Next, they promote independence, but sell their souls for it, all right? I want everyone to catch on to that. They promote independence, but they sell their souls for it, all right? Let's go to the next slide. Okay, this is going to be the leaders get worse every three years but we can kind of like throw that back a little bit every time they get a new leader she get worse and i've made a video about this all right how women get worse let's first start off with beyonce all right let me pull myself back up see after the lauren hill era that's when beyonce and destiny's child started coming in all right that's when the independent thing really started kicking in was about 2000, 2002, 2003. That's when all that started kicking in when Beyonce was teaching women how to be business women and independent. See, that's what you got to understand. When Beyonce took flight and Beyonce started promoting what she was promoting, she was promoting independence in women. All right. That's why they had songs. If you couldn't pay my bills, you can't be with me. She was pretty much saying, all right, if I'm doing this as a guy, you have to match it. That's the thing about women. When women started getting a little bit of power, right? 
they turned around and told their man, hey, if you want to be with me, you got to do what I do. But a man has never did that to a woman. You feel what I'm saying? A man ain't never did that to a woman at all. A man hasn't gotten success and says, gotten successful and said, hey, now that I'm a CEO of a, of a, of a um, company, the only way that I'm going to date you is if you become a CEO of a company. Men don't say that. Men become CEOs of companies, right? And they want to take care of a woman who may not have everything in life. We're always thinking to take care of. You know what I mean? That's what happened. So when Beyonce came, she promoted a woman to be independent, but go dig at the same time. She's the one that got the women saying, I got this, what do you have? I got this, what do you have? Right? Then next leader came Nicki Minaj. And like I said, each leader got worse and got worse. When Nicki Minaj came in, she took on the independent thing. But you got to realize, Nicki Minaj wasn't talking to smart women. Beyonce was. Beyonce was talking to women that were going to college, going to school. But when Nicki Minaj came, she talked to another demographic, a demographic of lazy women that did not want to go to school, that didn't want to own businesses. They was taught to use their sexuality. So when Nicki Minaj hit the scene, she taught the women how to use their sexuality, but be mean like a man. Run game like a man. You know, Beyonce was kind of like, all right, you can't be with me unless you level up. That's how Beyonce was. You can't be with me unless you level up. But Nicki Minaj came and she put a price on everything. She says, you can't be with me unless you buy me this watch, unless you buy me this purse, unless you buy me this and buy me that, right? So I'm going to get a whole bunch of guys to buy me a lot of things. And being that I got them to buy me a lot of things, now I'm a boss chick. You feel what I'm saying? Because I have a lot of things, but the things that she did to get those things, she had to sell her soul. Understand that. They made getting money soulless and it went through the generation and generation of women. So, what's the weird part about all this? When you break down the Beyonce's and you break down the Nicki Minaj's and you break down the Cardi B's so far, right? Just those three, just those two. I just want people to know the Beyonce been married 18 years. Nicki Minaj went back and grabbed a broke dude to have a kid with, right? But she done told every girl out there, you're not supposed to be with a broke dude. A dude is supposed to be paying for you if he wants you. Like, get, come on now, get it here. So the women are conditioned that I don't be with a man unless he purchased me. But she went and purchased a man. She's a hypocrite to her own world. Now, let's go into Cardi B. But you got to realize this. If you go back and look at Beyonce's, women were all a certain way. They were more sophisticated. They wanted to be educated, but they just wanted to outdo a man and be independent. Then the trend of Nicki Minaj came in. Women started showing a little bit more skin, fake booties, titties, different color wigs. Now we're going into Cardi B, which is full-blown soul selling because she comes from a world of prostitution. She comes from the world of stripping. They glorified it. They glorified it. That's what she came. She taught women that it's okay to be a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj was kind of like, hey, man, if you want to be with me, you got to do this and you got to do that. But Cardi B was just like, how much up front? How much you want? Period. They glorified stripping. She pushed girls into being stripping. It's a way to become independent. It's a way to do all that. Just go into stripping. Once you go into stripping, the first thing that happens is these women get on drugs because they got to numb themselves out just to go on stage. After two years, they good as dead. They're no good to nobody. But that sense of security and feeling sexy always kicks in for a woman. 
You got to think about it. As long as she's getting money, she don't need a man, she good. As long as some guy always wants to sleep with her, she feels sexy. As long as she has both of these feelings, she becomes delusional to her reality. She's not realizing she's destroying herself while trying to feel more power than what she really is because of the music. Each one of these leaders that women paid attention to, from Beyonce to Nicki Minaj to Cardi B, got worse and worse and worse. Right? All of their leaders got worse. So did the quality of women in real life. She got worse and worse and worse. Look at the women now. Most women have a disconnection between man and woman. And we're talking real men and real women. These beta males that are in their DM gassing them up, they were there even before this problem. Now, we're going to go into the Meg Thee Stallion part. Meg Thee Stallion. All right, let me bring this up. Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion. Hold on. Meg Thee Stallion. Let's bring her up. Meg Thee Stallion is, is, is not that pretty. She's not. When you look at Meg Thee Stallion, you don't, you don't feel anything with her. It's like she's the motion of everything that went wrong. She's the transformation of a woman becoming manly. She's all of them in one. She's the end result of all of their leadership that she is borderline a man. The next star after her has to be trans. Listen to what I'm telling you. She's too far of a manly woman, masculine woman to be a sexy woman. She's the last barrier right there. The next star, I'm telling you, is going to be trans. Because there is nothing else left for these women to do. There's no one else to mimic. There's no one, nowhere else to go. Their leaders are getting worse. We're not going to go back to Lauren Hills. We're not going to go back to those anymore. That's over with. You know what I'm saying? So... In conclusion, we're going to go to the next slide. Before I start, hold on. Let me give some um, shout outs on some super chats. Oh, man, I, I missed some super chats. Hey, if I didn't catch a super chat, my bad. All right. Next slide we're going to go to is how the quality of the average woman is getting worse. All right. Let's get to it. First, younger women are hitting the wall fast. When I say that they're hitting the wall fast, they're hitting the wall so fast that it's unreal. Like, let's, like, let's just be honest. None of these women are innocent now. They all want to feel innocent. Mr. Keeping It Simple, big shout out. They all want to feel different because that's what society is telling them. Society is telling them, however you feel right now, the world's supposed to adjust to it. The world is just supposed to put up with it. The world is supposed to feel sorry for you. That's how women are walking around now, but they're not getting that result. What it is, is they have no goals. They have no morals. Like, look at, look at, look at Tommy. Tommy Lorraine, look at her. 27 years old, you're trying to tell men how to date? Like, I know for, the, I know for a fact, she's mainly talking to white dudes. I get that. I really do get that, but she ain't the first one to start talking that talk after claiming to be so tough and independent. All these women about to pull that because they're all hitting the wall at a younger age. You have 18 year olds that are looking 40, 30, 40 now. All the, and, and, and this style that's going on with these guys where it's like, all right, I don't want to comb my head. What kind of style is that? Where you just let everything just go. I see guys doing that. But the women, the women are aging fast. It's like you can't tell what their age is. Next, more women are putting a price on their souls. You have more women with only fan accounts. Instagram models. 
Why? Because they got to keep up with what their superstars are doing. They got to keep up with the Nicki Minaj. They got to keep up with Cardi B because those girls are making a lot of money and they feel pretty because all the girls want, because all the guys want to have sex with them. As long as guys want to have sex with them, they feel pretty. Girls are getting pregnant at earlier ages. This is the first time in my life I've been seeing a whole bunch of 16-year-olds, 17, eight, even 18, 19-year-olds that are proud to be fathers. They're proud to have a child. They're proud to say, I got a kid on the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing that nowadays. Like, these guys don't know how much they're messing their life up. Next, women lost respect for men. Two ways. They put her in a position to where she did not even need men. Women are in positions where they don't need men. Secondly, it's too many simps that got them gassed up. That's the problem. It's making them think that every guy is weak. And there's, there's just, oh, all the men out there are just bad. No, they're not. You got more than enough guys in your DM to tell you everything that you want to hear. The problem is the guy that you want to like you sees your delusion. Them smart ones can see through all that. The smart ones can see that you're using all those beta males online to give yourself the confidence to walk past a high value man and you want the high value man to do the same thing as the beta males. It don't work that way. That's what's driving these women miserable. They don't know how to keep a real man, but they sure as hell when they feel low, they know how to post a picture and get their morale back up. But those likes start to get less and less the older they get. Because 25 year olds are looking 30. All right, so by the time they get 30, they looking 60. Different ball game. All because they're trying to compete with their superstar role models, the Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallion. Now, what you have...